Hello, my name is Julie, and this is KS Small Crochets, and today is crochet podcast number 66. So it's been a little while, um, but I thought that I would get on here and share with you all some things that I have made. Um, as a lot of you all know, I have took a little bit of a break from YouTube, and um, I will go into a little bit more um, detail at the end of the video for those of you that are interested, but um, I do have a few things to share with you guys. So, like I said, I have been crocheting a little bit, so I'll go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing that I made, and I think I made this sometime in July, is this little bunny right here. And uh, this is actually um, out of a book. Actually, I've only made two amigurumis, and they're both out of books. But it came out of this book, The Big Book of Little Amigurumi by Anna Paula Ramoli. And this is like a collection of all of her smaller books, I think. Um, I'm not sure if it has like every single pattern that the smaller books have. But this is basically the same patterns um, of, as the other books that she has. But this is actually called um, Toys in Pajamas. Let me see and there is the bunny so they give you she gives you like a small version and a big version and I just thought that was really really cute <laughs> so I decided to do it now I feel like that I changed it's been a while since I did this yes I made the head and the body in one piece so um, I didn't have to sew the head on because they were separate and then I changed the ears. So on here, the ears are like flat. Well, the ears are flat pieces. And I didn't want them to be like that. So I just started out in a magic circle. And I increased up to 24. And I just did 23 rows of um, 24 stitches all the way up. And then I think I may have decreased at the top. So that I didn't have to sew so much on. Just a little bit. And then um, I just sewed them on. And then I also made this little um, ruffle around the neck. Because I didn't like the way that the head and the neck looked. Um, it just looked funny to me. And I felt like that it needed some kind of collar. And I have made something similar um, to this before. And... Uh, it was last Halloween, and I thought that I would add that um, to the neck, and I made a little bow to go on her head. Now, um, these patterns are really, really easy. Like, this is definitely a beginner book, um, in my opinion. But sometimes, when you're like me, and you lose your crojo, or you just don't want to work on a complicated pattern, you can take these um, more beginner-friendly patterns, and you can... Um, turn them into anything that you want them to be um, but they are fun to make it's to me it's fun and more relaxing to make something that I don't have to concentrate on so much um, but I did add some little buttons and like I said this is a supposed to be pajamas but to me the colors that I used it just made it look more like a clown but that's okay <laughs> Um, I used a 3.75 millimeter hook and I used the Red Heart Super Saver brush yarn in the color Soft Mink. Um, but as you can tell, it doesn't really look fuzzy. It does have like a little bit of a fuzz to it, but not really. Um, and then this color for the pajamas is the Red Heart Super Saver stripes in the color Fruity Stripe. And then these little buttons I just had in my stash. And I'm thinking, I didn't write down what size eyes, but I'm thinking that those might be like a 14 millimeter eye because they look bigger than a 12 millimeter to me. And then I just whip stitched a little um, nose and mouth with black and uh, called it a day. So I hope you like my little bunny. I think that it turned out really cute. I do like her a lot. Um, I really like the Red Heart Super Saver Stripes yarn, though. It's so pretty. And then the last um, amigurumi that I'm going to show you is one that I actually finished um, yesterday. <laughs> um, I started it 
and uh, I finished it. So this is a book that I have made several things out of. So if you've been with my channel for a while, you know that I have made uh, quite a few patterns. I think this is like my fourth or fifth pattern out of this book. And this is called um, Anyone Can Crochet, Amigurumi Animals by Christy Simpson. And I have found some errors in this book. Not anything that not anything that's huge, but um, I would recommend this for someone that is um, good at reading patterns and maybe has some amigurumi experience so that you can catch those errors if there are any. But the one that I made, there was none in it at all. And it is uh, Micah the monkey. So this is what he looks like in the book. And um, I love this book. Uh, I will continue to work out of it. I just, I love every single one. I think this is one of the few books that I actually own. And I have a lot that I would probably make every single character in. Um, but my daughter really wanted him. So I decided to, um, to make him. And here he is. So this is my Micah the monkey, and let me find him in my notes here. I used um, a three millimeter hook, and um, those are supposed to be eight millimeter eyes, but if you look really close, uh, I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera, but for some reason those eyes look two different sizes to me. So <laughs> I think that maybe one of them might be a seven millimeter and one might be an eight millimeter, and I think I got them mixed up but that's okay. Um, I could technically fix that because this face part, um, I could just take it off, but I just don't want to do that. So I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> um, but I used a, um, three millimeter hook and I used a Brava sport yarn, um, and the color Brindle, which is the stark brown. Um, almond is the light brown, like on the face and the ears. And the jacket or the vest is in the color denim. And then Caitlin wanted a um, purple hat and not a yellow hat. So um, this is actually a Baby Bee Sweet Delight that I got on clearance from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. <laughs> and um, it is in the color um, Grape Jelly. Now, as you can tell, the ears <laughs> in the back, they look really bad. This one doesn't look as bad like it does right there, but that one I did not do. I don't really like it when um, the ears are two separate pieces, and I think that that was kind of, um, I don't know, like, I didn't like the way that the ears were made in this um, book. I'll see if I can show you a picture. That's the only complaint that I had about this pattern was um, the ears. So this is what they look like in the book. And there is no, there's no instructions in how that she got her ears to be round like that. So I just kind of had to figure it out, <laughs> figure it out on my own. And I really don't like doing that, um, honestly. And then the tail was another piece. It is worked as just a flat strip. And I didn't like the way that that looked. So I actually sewed it into a tube. Um, that flat strip, I just folded it in half and sewed it into a tube to make it um, rounded. And then I just kind of sewed it up and then this part is loose. So you can move it however you want to. Um, another thing is on her legs, she leaves this part open and I have made the fox out of this book and she does the same thing. So on her animals that have their legs um, on the side of the body, they are left open and then you're supposed to like pinch them flat and then sew them, I'm assuming like whip stitch them on or something. But I prefer to close up the back of my legs and sew them on that way. Now he's not perfect. <laughs> I can definitely tell when I go a while without, my, without making an amigurumi that um, I get a little sloppy and I, he's a little sloppy, but 
I still think that he turned out really, really cute. And my daughter loves him, so that's all that matters. Um, I did attach a little um, navy button that I had. Um, I, I used the same yarn as his body to make his little mouth. I feel like his mouth should be a little bit darker, maybe. And then um, I whip stitched him a little nose and gave him some eyebrows. And I gave him his little hair at the top. So this is my <laughs> my little Micah the monkey. And I, I do like him um, a lot. But uh, like I said, there's definitely some things that I could have done better on him. And I think that's all. Yeah. And then... Um, when whenever I really lost my crojo, like I just did not I like I had no desire. It's just now coming back. Like it's really just now coming back to where that I really want to crochet again. Um the only thing that I wanted to make was these washcloths. And this is a um stitch pattern by Nostalgia. And I used a five millimeter hook on all of these, um, but it's called the textured box stitch and I just turned it into a washcloth. I think I changed, uh, it's a multiple of three plus two and I just chained 29. So they're not very big. This one is like a mishmash of all of the different, not all of them, but some of the different colors that I use. So this one is just like gonna be for me <laughs> to use. Um, this one, I haven't weaved in the ends, but I really love the um, texture on this. So, it's kind of almost similar to a waffle stitch, but it's just a two-row repeat. I don't really know what how many row repeats um, the waffle stitch is, but I like the way that the back of it looks, too. Like, even though this is the wrong side, but I made an orange one. Let's see, I guess I could tell you. This one is um, Sugar and Cream in the color Black Current. Um, this one is... Oh, Tangerine Splash. I think it's from Premier. Premier Home Cotton and Tangerine Splash. And then this one is called... This is a Hobby Lobby's Crafter Secret. And... No, wait, no, it's not. No, this is Premier Home in Rainbow. <laughs> I'm going to try not to edit this. So if I mess up, I apologize because it's been a while and you get out of practice. So you can't really see the um, texture and stuff, but these make excellent washcloths. Like I've already been using one of them. So I made two like that. This one right here is the Crafter Secret yarn and it's called Spring Stripe. Caitlin picked out this one but I really like the way that that like it it gives you that texture that you need to um you know wash your dishes or whatever but then it also is just pretty and it's fun it's just a repetitive stitch so I made two of that one so every um every skein that I used I got at least two of them out of it <clears throat> And then this last one, I do have two of these, but I'm using one of these. And this is um, also, no, this is Big Twist in the color Aqua Strip, uh, Stipple or something like that. S-T-I-P-P-L-E. It's really pretty. So I just um, wanted to do something simple and make some washcloths. <laughs> um, my sister had asked me like, I don't know I think it was like last year to make her some washcloths and I started to and then I just stopped <laughs> so I'm hoping that I can like make a bunch and um you know have them done for um Christmas or something and then I made um some coasters and these are called sunflower coasters and they are by butterfly craft diy on youtube so it's a youtube tutorial and i just absolutely love this i think that it is so pretty um i use sugar and cream in the color warm brown and then warm brown and then this one right here was like a just yarn cotton just cotton or something that you get from the dollar tree 
that I had had for a long time and it is in the color amber and I'm very disappointed because I used it all um, I did find a color similar in um, sugar and cream and I'm not sure what color it is I just got it today and my plan is is to just because I think that I can figure out how to have enough um, petals and if I don't then I can like fudge it or something but I want to keep going with this brown and just make it bigger and I want to make it like um like a placemat size or something for the middle of my coffee table because I love sunflowers like they are my favorite flowers and um yeah so I made three of these really really like this um this pattern I think that it's one of the prettiest sunflower coasters that I have found um, because I've made numerous ones um, over the years and this one is definitely my favorite I really like how that the petals look um, and I used a five millimeter hook so if you're in the market for a um, sunflower or even um, just a flower um, coaster in general I really do love this pattern and it, once you get it in your head um, you don't even have to really watch like I only watch the YouTube video once I usually will watch I don't like following along <laughs> with YouTube video um, tutorials but I will watch them and like write down what they're doing so that I can go back and I do like having them so that I can refer um, back to the video if I need help on something you know but I really do like these and like I said my plans are um, to make a bigger one for the center of my table hopefully soon so um that's the only thing that i have really crocheted i mean i have made a few other little things but i don't have them to share with you all but i do have one thing that i am oh wait here's another washcloth i forgot about this one because <laughs> you know uh, i love making um trying out new stitch patterns and i found this stitch pattern and one of these days I'm going to make a blanket out of this because I just love it so much. And this is called the Staggered Square Crochet Stitch. And it is by Crochet, the letter N, create.com. So Crochet and Create.com. Um, and I used a 5 millimeter hook. And this is Premier Home Cotton in Flamingo Splash. And I just think that's so pretty. Um, it reminds me of the blanket that I haven't finished <laughs> the stitch pattern that I got out of a crochet magazine um, it reminds me of that a whole lot um, and I really love how that this looks like this is like sideways you know and I thought oh that's gonna be so hard to to do like that's gonna be complicated this stitch is so easy to do but it looks very very pretty I think that um, I think that a blanket would be really really pretty but um, I have started a blanket um, if you all remember I was making my husband a basket weave blanket oh man and that thing was just killing me like I absolutely the basket weave stitch is just a horrible stitch to do if you've got the patience <laughs> if you've got the patience for it then good for you but I just do not like I love the way that it looks like this is what I'm talking about if it's gonna really show up I don't know it might be I got it upside down but anyway this is what I'm talking about is the basket weave stitch and um I had I don't know how many color repeats the same amount that I have started over so I decided to um these these washcloths that I've been making, I love this stitch so much. I was like, I'm going to make his blanket out of this stitch because it's a tight stitch. Um, it does have like the holes right there. Um, but it's not, it's, it's still, it's more flexible and it builds up faster, but it, um, it's still just as pretty as this one, I think. But this, like I said, this was killing me. Like, I could not 
may it, I would sit and work on this for hours and feel like that I didn't put any progress in it at all like it felt like that I was just not going anywhere it's just such a slow growing stitch so what I decided to do like I said is start over with that um, textured bo box stitch from Nostalgia and redo his blanket and I have made it quite a far made it quite far already so here are um here's the progress on it and i'm not really sure how much that i chained i can't remember what did i say the stitch count was for that i haven't wrote this one down i know better than that um it's three plus two and then I added some stitches to the side so that I could give it that built-in border that I like. I can't even remember when I started that blanket. I don't think I'm going to be able to find it. Here it is. So, I didn't write down any of the colors. I didn't take good notes at all. <laughs> so, here is... Um, what I'm doing and I used a six millimeter hook on this and this is all um premier anti-peeling yarn um these skeins have a little bit more than what the skeins have that you get everywhere else because this was like an Annie's kit club yarn or whatever so these actually have um 203 yards in them I was gonna try to see what colors that I use because I just did not take any notes on these at all. So I'm pretty sure this dark color right here is called Steel. And then this one is called Mist. And then I remember this one is called Indigo. So I am, I don't think their colors match up either. But they do have these colors um, in the regular anti-peeling yarn or whatever, worsted, number four. So what I'm doing is I'm going to do blue, the light gray, the blue, the dark gray, blue, and then just keep going like that. And I'm thinking I'm getting six repeats for every um, block of color that you see. So I'm thinking that I have to... Um, I want to, I think it's like 78 rows or something to get the repeats or maybe it's 13. I think it's 13 repeats that I have to do with colors, but I can't remember. But what I'm doing is I'm just working from this blanket. So all of this yarn <laughs> that you see in this came from this blanket right here. Like, I had put so much work into this. And as you can see, like, this is where I started. I always mark every 20 stitches. So, I chained. At least 100, I think 149 stitches or something like that. Just guessing, just counting like this but as you can see the um the difference like this is one full strip of color um i think i just took off of that side a little bit but that's that's how much bigger it is isn't that crazy which i did add a little bit more um yarn i think i can get five five repeats from one strip of this and then I had like some scraps that I had added into it. But I'm determined to get this done by September. So this will be the main thing that I'll be working on. Sorry about that. So um, I, that's all that I've really been up to. Um, mostly working on this blanket. Um, I know it's been like two months or a month. Over a month. I don't know <laughs> I don't know how long it's been, but it's been a while since I've got to chat with you all, and I missed you all so much. Um, I don't know when I will be back to making regular videos every week. 
um, hopefully soon, but I just, I can't make any promises right now. Um, but I do know that I will for sure be back September the 1st because I have decided to do a collab. Um, we're calling it hashtag fall in love and um, I will definitely have an announcement video on September the 1st. But if you want to join in with that collab, um, the only stipulation is that it has to be fall related. Like it has to be a fall related um project but so like it could it could be anything though it could be a blanket it could be an amigurumi using fall colors um the uh, we were originally thinking fall in love with a new project like something that you've never tried before maybe you want to try a new yarn or um you know like i said a project that you've never uh, made before or or something out of your comfort zone that you've never tried um but I, I am going to use it as fall in love with crochet again because I feel like that I have kind of fell out with crochet. Like I've just not really been crocheting. Like this looks like a lot, but it's because it's been so long since I've made a video. So like things have just accumulated and I've really just started crocheting like the past like week, like and a half or something like like crocheting a lot <laughs> so I'm hoping that it's back and it's gonna stay and that everything's gonna go back to normal when my kids go back to school that things are gonna calm down and I'm not gonna have to worry about so much and have so much stress <laughs> stress and stuff on me but um like I said hopefully I will be back um, sooner rather than later but if you would like to um, be thinking about a project that you would like for um to join in with us on this collab like I said there will be a official announcement video on September the 1st but we will um, be working on a fall project I've already decided what I'm going to do I think I think I've already decided what I'm going to do so that's exciting to do something um, fall related like I'm ready for fall I'm so tired of this hot weather <laughs> um you know so uh i hope that you all enjoyed hanging out with me i'm sorry that um this video is not going to be that great like i feel like i'm so out of practice like you go just a little while without making a video and then it's like you can't even get your words to get <laughs> that's how i feel so um yeah thanks for hanging out with me thanks for coming back time and time again and um if you're new here welcome and i hope that you uh, well, stay tuned for more videos from me in the future. Like I said, I don't know exactly when I will be back, but I do know for sure on September the 1st. So look out and um, maybe next time I come back, I'll have more to show you. Um, and I will, um, you know, have more than just washcloths. I feel like all I showed you all were washcloths. But um, those stitch patterns are really fun. So... Um, if you're looking for something easy to do and, uh, you know, maybe you're like me and you've got the summertime blues or something, <laughs> you don't feel like crocheting, uh, that's definitely something fun to do and it's useful. So, um, that's always a plus. So until next time, guys, I will see you in another video. Bye.